So in this video I'm going to show you how to use the graphical layout to figure the correct waste on your floors. The last video I did for the uh, component pricing had similar errors in, in waste calculation for the rolled sheet goods specifically. So let's take a look at that here. Um, let's say we're going to work on a bedroom. Uh, there's a few ways that people do this. We'll go over a few different ways that people do it wrong. The first one is just to put in the line item in the room. Okay, so if you're just putting the line item in the room, it's not calculating any waste for you. We can go in here and look. If you open up the components for the line item, we are going to see that there is a uh, zero factor. There's, there's not even a supporting event for the carpet material allowance right here, zero. No supporting events. It's not calculating any waste. So sometimes people will just put in calculation like this, something similar that means 10%. Um, so here's the issue with that. Carpet and other rolled goods is typically drastically more than 10% than waste. So let's go back into the room here. Let's make this an odd size room. Actually, I'll leave it 12 foot wide first. We're gonna change this floor calculation to Xactimate's um, auto calculate waste. And X1 doesn't let me do it from here. So I'll go in here, add it in here. So this is now auto calculating waste. So if we compare the two, it's giving us from just the square footage 182 when we say Xactimate calculate it for us it's giving us 185 so we are getting three square feet of waste um, nothing really a couple percentage the reason why is because it's only allowing you a three percent overage because carpet comes in a 12 foot wide roll anyway um, this is how you see your flooring overlay. I'm going to sidetrack here a little bit. Go into view, hit flooring overlay. This will show you exactly the direction that the carpet's supposed to be rolled um, and everything. If we make this room a little bit wider, light, wider than the 12 foot roll that the carpet comes in, you can see how many fill pieces it gives you here. And actually to complicate it, why don't we just go over here. I'll add a hallway onto the side and another way to, to do it rather than putting in the auto calculation is the graphical estimator here. If you type in the code for it, it gives you a little button and you can drop it anywhere on the sketch that you want. So you drop it in here and then it'll automatically place it. It shows you the cuts and, and the waste that you have going on there. Um, if you add a doorway in, it changes it because now the rooms are connected, so the orientation has to be the same. Uh, so it, it's actually a pretty, pretty versatile tool, but a lot of times it does stuff wrong. For instance, this room, four fill pieces. No carpet installers out there do four fill pieces. Um, especially if you have a carpet with some type of pattern match, the waste that is going to go into doing those four pieces and the extra time that's going to go into doing those four pieces of fill it just doesn't make sense to do them. So if you go into the properties for the room, you can come into the flooring um, and you can change the, the amount of fill pieces. If I'm selling carpet from my store, I typically only do one or two fill pieces. In this room, I'd probably be okay with two fill pieces. Um, so I will put that in there. You can, you can adjust your uh, seam allowance cuts, your roll length cuts, so that's from end to end how much you're going to cut off of each piece. So you can adjust it exactly how the real world ac application of how it's going to go down is. So this is how it would go down if my installers were stalling it, if I ordered material for the floor. Um, and you can see, well let's just see here. If I say four fill pieces are okay, which is the Xactimate default, <clears throat> then it's going to allow you 241 square feet. If we change it to how it's actually going to be installed, then we have 263. So 22-ish square feet um, was missing that, that you definitely would have used. 
Um, if you're installing four fill pieces like that, that's how you get warranty calls. So if you like warranty calls, if you like go back and fixing stuff for free, that's how you do it. Just put four fill pieces in every room. Um, another one that is really wrong, typically, is uh, sheet vinyl. I'm making a new room so that Xactimate isn't saving the preferences that I just changed in there. So I'm gonna drop sheet vinyl in this room and we will look at the flooring layout overlay and see what it looks like. They have three fill pieces in here for sheet vinyl on a 15 foot long room. This is not how sheet vinyl is ever installed. It is simply not done this way. So this is, this is nonsense. Um, again, if you want warranty claims, you put end seams in sheet vinyl. These end seams, you've seen it in houses, they're gonna start peeling up. You do usually do one um, side seam on each piece of vinyl that you put in there, unless it's just a gargantuan room. But a 15 foot room, you're only gonna have one fill piece. So right now we're looking at uh, 270 square feet, basically is what it's allowing with the fill pieces. When you input the actual usage of how it's gonna be applied, you get up to 390. So there's 120 square feet of missed flooring there. Um, that if you're installing the floor right, this is how it needs to be installed, uh, especially in a room with, with these dimensions. I know that there's a lot of waste and that sucks, but that's just the way it is. Um, so you have to go in here. It's Xactimate is pretty smart, but if you depend on it to do everything for you, uh, you're gonna screw some stuff up. So I'll just show you another little tool here. There's this flooring orientation tool. You can change the way that it's laying out in a room. So if you have a room um, with a hallway next to it and you need the carpet to be facing the same direction so that it's not turned, you don't get it laying down in a, in a different direction in the hallway next to it, then you can go through and change the orientation in each room uh, to make sure that it's facing the right way. So anyway, that's how you can use the graphical estimator to calculate correct waste based on how the project is actually going to be installed. Hopefully this helps somebody and you guys can uh, stop getting ripped off on your, on your flooring.